there's about six or seven bull sharks right below us. It is a little bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> I am currently in Jupiter, a little area of Florida where we're about to head out on a shark dive. There's a good chance on this shark dive that I'm going to come across lemon sharks in their adult form. Um, lemon sharks, for anyone that didn't know, was one of the main species that I used to work with when I was in field research with sharks. It's actually the species that bit me. Cleaning a shark bite, this is the most painful part of receiving this wound. That shark was about one meter. These ones are gonna be about two and a half. Lots and lots of people will tell you that shark diving is safe. And you know, it may well be, <laughs> but accidents do happen. And I'm sure that the shark never goes out to bite you, but when there's lots and lots of bait in the water, which often happens with this, it does make me a little bit nervous, especially because that causes a feeding frenzy. In this particular area though, where shark fishing is actually legal, there is a really big argument that the shark diving and shark tourism industry is actually able to bring in more income to people of Florida than shark fishing or shark finning. So this could potentially be a good move for the future conservation of the species. There is a slight downside though, because the sharks that we are going to be diving with today, we don't actually know how that is going to have a knock-on effect of their ecosystem, because sharks, as the apex predator, their job is basically to take out the wheat, take out the dying in their food chain, and we don't know where these sharks are traveling from, uh, how long they are feeding when they're being fed from the boats instead, and how that is having any effect on different habitats. Okay, so I guess we better get on the boat. <laughs> Even if you don't feel calm, all you have to do is look calm. That's like the 90% of it. Oh yeah, we got like pretty much unlimited viz, it looks like. That'll be the focal point for the sharks. So the sharks are interested in that, sharks are around that, you guys are up here. The goal is to get those sharks right up in the upper water column with you. To stay between the float and the boat, whether it's We've just arrived at this spot. Um, uh, it right. is yeah, in yeah, the yeah, middle of nowhere. Of it's really, really deep. It's like 120 yeah. feet yeah. here. Um, but the, oh, yeah, there is a baited water, crate right? uh, which is floating at around 70 feet right now. And apparently we can still see it. So the visibility is really good. We are going to jump in very, very shortly and just hope that something comes into view. Hey, we had a ball already? Yeah, we got one ball. Oh, there we go. One shark already here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, bully right up top. All right. Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't do that piece of fish. <laughs> sharks down there already it's insane there's already six bull sharks and they're pretty big they're like two meters plus swimming around just below us i can honestly say they're not bothered about me whatsoever right now i'm gonna go back down and have more of a look <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
been swimming the water for a little while now, so they're swimming quite close to the surface. Quite close indeed, like a few times I've had to kick them. <laughs> um, it's, it's exciting. I've got to say, it's making me a bit uncomfortable doing the talking bit now because I want to look what's underneath me the whole time. But yeah, I'm going to put the mask back on because I need to see. glad to get back in on the boat now <laughs> as you can see it's got a bit wavy <gasps> no I um, I've swallowed so much salt water because I couldn't keep my head straight I was clearly looking behind me the whole time and underneath me that my uh, snorkel kept going under the water um, it's really hard to keep your eye on a shark when there's like seven of them all at once swimming around you um, but yeah, it uh, definitely gives you a bit of respect, especially seeing when they take the bait, just like how sharp their teeth are. <laughs> I feel like I've got snot all over my face. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. That was cool. Yeah, that was a good dive, really. The visibility was amazing. How much fish did you have to put in the water then? Yeah, I, I had an extra because I had gotten fish for two dives, so I just kept on just yeah. plowing through it. I was like, I want to keep Keep them here. Yeah. I mean, those three were super interested in us. Oh yeah, there was a yeah, there were two that really just loved us. They were two just, like, that were like really close yeah, to the yeah, surface. Yeah, there were, there were, there were, a few times. Bulls on the surface is not that common, but it's it's awesome when it's it does really happen. It's pretty intimidating. About oh yeah, their <laughs> bulls are totally a different animal, you know. They're, yeah, good crowd. I guess they came to hang out. Yep. yep. I mean, they know that they're uh, top dog, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Really, it's yeah, not like yeah. the other sharks yeah. where they're a bit more skitzy. <laughs> We're in Crystal River. It's about to get amazing. 